know that without Monday Night Tees, the Hollywood burlesque community would not be what it is today, and we would not have the Hollywood Burlesque Festival. And when I came up, this woman trained 90% of the burlesque performers that were performing at the time. Um, so I'm gonna bring her up here. You guys know who I'm talking about. The founder of the Hollywood Burlesque Festival, Miss Lily Von Stoop. years and I'm really tired of sitting in my background going, please welcome to the garden, Rose Bush, the perky peeler, my lemon tree. And I'm like, it was just fabulous to be out here on the stage with you guys tonight. Um, I, I told her it's going to be a minute, so you guys are all going to have to practice your fake smiles for just a second. Um, I would not be who I am if it wasn't for the burlesque legends that came for me. Exotic World and I didn't know anything about it and I said to my friend, hey, I'm going to go out to Exotic World and I don't think I know how to perform enough to, to like compete or anything and she goes, Exotic World? My friend Stephanie won like two trophies there. And I went, you know Stephanie Blake, two-time title holder from Exotic World? The woman who was the nurse that, uh, you know, in Ferris Bueller? And she's like, yeah, let me give you her number. I'm like, fucking Hollywood. So I called up Stephanie, and she was so kind. She invited me to her home. And she said, yeah, let's sit down and watch some tapes from Exotic World. And she told me about her mom. She told me she was second generation. And she welcomed me into her home. And that has happened over and over and over in this community. Dixie Evans, Tempest Storm. The names go on and on of these women who have said, please, come have a seat at the table. I got to meet. Brandy Wild, like the about three years before uh, Monday Night's a Show, she welcomed me into her home as well. But the story I really want to tell is the story about the Hollywood Burlesque Festival. I grab my credit card. <laughs> I call my friends. I said, Dizzy, I need your help. Red Snapper, I need your help. Corey, I need your help. Uh, Mr. Snapper, uh, Patrick the Bank Robber, me and me triple. You guys, you got it. You got it. Come help me because I don't know. Alone. No one can. And we started selling tickets and we got this venue and Eddie gave his birthday weekend away for me. Because he was fucking the best. So I have a theater. I sent out all these applications and all of a sudden I'm like, I'm going broke fast. Um, and I wouldn't tell anybody that because, you know, you can't go. This, this thing could fall apart immediately. And uh, Red Snapper says to me, you know what we need? We need a group outing. And we went to the Slimmin studio so that we could <laughs> exercise with the oldies. And uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Slimmin's. Richard Simmons will come down at the end of the show and he will sit down, or at the end of our exercise, and he will sit down and he'll go through his bag of goodies and he'll go, where are you from? Oh my God, I just got this new thing. It's an eye patch. It's absolutely wonderful. Take this home with you. And he'll go over and he'll talk to you. And he just talked to everybody and I thought, God, that's how I felt at Monday Night Tees. Everybody was just home. And all of a sudden he goes, so what's with all of this over here? And uh, Red, because Red is the biggest cheerleader on earth, Red Snapper. She goes, we're the Hollywood Burlesque Festival. It's happening December 6th to the 9th and everybody should buy tickets. <laughs> and Richard goes, that's amazing. You know what? He goes, how are ticket sales? And I went, yeah. Okay. And he goes, talk to me after the show. Or talk to me after the class, I should say. And uh, class ended, or the, the, the class ended, everybody left. And he came up to me and he goes, I want to help you. And I'm like, I, I don't know what that means, but thank you. Uh, and he says, give Barbara your telephone number, come back next week, somebody's going to call you. And I got a phone call and they're like, hi, is this Lily? And I'm like, yes. They're like, hi, I'm from Richard Simmons. And um, I need your 501c3 paperwork. 
I said, I'm not a 501c3 at all. And I said, if you can't help, I completely understand that. He goes, no, 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 Richard's going to help you. He said, come, come to the next class on Wednesday and um, meet him afterwards. And I walked out after class and I said, hello, Mr. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Actually, I said, hello, Richard, at that point. He goes, Lily, thank you. He goes, I need you to go get your car, pull it around, and get behind the white SUV that's out here because you're going to follow me somewhere. <laughs> shows too, but I'm like, not Richard Simmons. <laughs> I mean, his book is still hungry after all these years, but I don't think, no. Um, so we follow him, and I'm thinking I'm going to an office instead. We start going up into the Hollywood Hills. And I didn't know it was the Hollywood Hills, because I'd only been out here for a few years, and I'd never gone up there. Uh, so we're following him, and it's, if you've ever been up in the hills, it's just like, it's, it's, it's trees, and then it's gates. <laughs> And again, I'm like, what's going to happen up here? So we pull up, a gate opens, he drives in, I follow him into this incredible, beautiful home and thought, oh my God, I hope my car doesn't leak oil on Richard Simmons' driveway. <laughs> and you know what he did? He invited me into his home. <laughs> he walked in, went over to the mantle, and he picked up something. God, I didn't even look at this, it's beautiful. He picked up something about this size. It was, a, it was about a four by six frame. And he said, this is Shirley Simmons. She's my mom. She was a burlesque dancer. My dad made all her clothes. And I went, God damn, this community is amazing. And then he handed me an envelope with a check in it. And at that moment I went. And we bought some more advertising. And I said to him, Mr. Simmons, what can I do for you? And he said, remember me. Oh. And tonight, I'm remembering him for helping me make this happen. I'm remembering everyone who ever worked on the Hollywood Girls Festival. So many of you are in the audience. And I just want to say, Gwen, I need your help. I forgot the rest of the speech. I haven't been performing much lately. But thank you for remembering me. Thank <laughs> you.